Greetings guys, nerds, aka Joe and Rhino. We're playing some Bridges here on Mindplex. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you for you guys sticking with me those past two weeks. I have really, really been busy and I'm sorry that it took me so long to pump out one lousy video. So basically when I'm making this video, one is Bridges99, super hyped about that. That means we get to do the live stream, hopefully this Friday or Saturday, depending on my schedule. And let's talk about clans for a bit because Last time we did clans for season one. It was season one of, I'm not talking about alpha or beta. I think those were my best experiences on clans. But as of right now, it's been, uh, it hasn't been bad. It's just not as fun as it used to be. My reason, now for any of you go off and destroy me in the comments, let me explain this little factor of clans. I remember back in beta, it was in beta. No, was it in beta or alpha? I can't remember. Basically, it was in that video where we were like fighting, I think it was like three teams. It was Combat, Origin, and I forgot the other clan. But anyways, back in those days, when you got raided, you got raided. Like, what the heck? Holy crap. That is good aim. But yeah, back then, when you got raided, you really got raided. Because players would destroy your blocks, and... I guess that made people quit clans. I think that was one of the most fun things to do, even though it never... I think it happened... No, it happened to us once because we got incited, so I guess that's why they probably got rid of it because players were just getting incited a bunch. But if anything, this little update that they made really <laughs> killed the vibe for raiding. Like, getting war points, it's just not the same anymore. War points, basically, it's if you get a bunch of kills, you can, like, take over claims and all that and, like, destroy their blocks and... Blah, blah, blah. You used to be able to do that. That was probably an awesome, one of the coolest features about raiding, in my opinion. It's probably the most messed up thing, because I remember when we raided combat once, we literally, like, drowned their base. But now you can't do fun things like that. I guess it's not fun in a clan when their base is drowned. Because then sometimes if it's nicely built, you have to move and everything, because it's just way too much to fix. But if anything, now you have to TNT the base. If you get that number of war points, it's like... What's the, what's the worth? What's the risk of getting raided? If you literally just, if literally everybody in your clan stays in while you're getting raided, you can feed war points and nothing would happen. Like, if you think about it, this little update's really annoying because it's, when you're, when you're trying to buy TNT, it's very expensive, first of all. You, even if you get a generator, it's expensive to buy that. That's like 300,000. You won't get that same experience. If anything, you'll have to get TNT to blow the base up and who wants to buy that for a team a clan that maybe is just really tiny and you wouldn't even for what you paid to raid that base it would not be worth it like all those items probably wouldn't be worth all the money you paid to raid it that's why i feel like it's pretty stupid but if anything good update i really like it however that invis bug really is super annoying but i'm not sure if i'll be recording it i really have to check and see if anything i have to see if i get that same experience also let's talk about how to bridge so if any of you noticed i gave x tyler a little shout out there because he made a video in response to mine and i remember when people were pming me the link to the video they were thinking i was gonna be salty about it if anything i was quite the opposite because it did bring a few points up that i actually want to try and stray away from for example when i noticed i'm doing how to bridge when I was writing it, for example, I do have to write this down. All these things, I don't just remember all these. Wait, GG. I don't remember all these things off the top of my head. I have to write them down in some sort of doc. So I do have a doc, which I will be releasing at the end of the series, and I'm hopefully gonna try and push that to GI first. It's not that if I tell the community these things, it won't like help the game itself. They have some influence on actually changing the game and actually implementing these features by their own discretion and own choice. Kids like Appler and Brawl. I was being, I was pouring the salt bucket a tad bit when I was making that video. But if anything, it's it's wrong, it's biased. Because I don't know how it feels to play Appler and have to chase other Berserkers down if, actually I know how it feels to chase other Berserkers down, it's really annoying. Even as a Berserker, that's annoying. So basically, I was in the wrong when I was making that video. I was trying to completely destroy Appler and that's just, not in good justice to the kit, because that's what the kit was made for. It's with multiple games I've noticed. When nerfs are pushed or like made and like community's very like angry about like these kits not being nerfed, half the time these are the kits that are most severely used. And that's just not fair 
to the kit. The reason, so let's talk about the reason why these kits are highly used. If anything, they're good in any circumstance. For example, no way. Really gonna be salty if they liked out there. If anything, these kits are the ones that are highly used. So to try and suggest all these nerfs to completely get rid of the kit, it's not fair to the kit. For this reason being is that the, the reason the kit might highly be used is because of the circumstances it's useful for. For example, if I'm playing against the party, I'm probably going to go Berserker, Appler, or Brawler. Just because I feel like those are the most OP kits when you're trying to fight more than one player. For example, Appler literally can hold- holy crap, I took a lot of fall damage from that. But Appler literally can hold off an entire team. So. Probably I'd choose Appler over Archer, Bomber, or Miner. Berserker. If I'm getting 2v1, 3v1, I can get out of situation. If I feel like there's a kill that's too far away, and it's probably... It's a kill I need to get, like a full diamond that's super low. If it's a kill I feel like I need to go for, I probably would want to use Berserker, because it'd probably get me there faster, and then they probably wouldn't be able to escape from a Berserker. It's pretty impossible. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult to escape from a Berserker. So, it's just kids like that. Brawler, if I feel like there's a full diamond, I want his stuff, I I don't have a problem with fighting him because I'm Brawler, so. It's not even being cocky, it's just how OP the kid is that you literally can walk up to a Brawler and 10 hearts then, probably. But it's just a really good kit in certain circumstances. So, oh crap, let's actually get to our furnaces here so we can actually get some armor. I'm not going to use Archer or Miner or Bomber in any of these situations, which is the problem with these kits. So the aim for a lot of these kits should not be to completely disrupt these kits, but to probably improve the others to where they're, use they're useful. For example, Archer, there's a few things you can do to it to make it better without... No way. Oh, they broke our bridge. I don't know how they keep doing this. I don't know how it's not patched either. Like, maybe it's just it's not something you can necessarily patch. I'm not going to leave that. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Oh, Lord. I glitched for a second there. As I noticed with Gwen. Oh, my gosh. Gwen is so good for that. Um, What? And. <laughs> oh, God. You were low. Come on. Come on. Dang it! Oh no 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 no! Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm 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 good. You can just let me get my stuff. Holy crap! We're actually we're decked. We're really decked. What? Oh what? I'm I'm yellow. Typically I'm green. Oh my gosh! That threw me off for a bit there. So if anything, I learned from caps not to do that on the edge. But I feel that there's ways you can fix these kits to where they're not necessarily bad in a lot of oh that poor person i feel bad sight slightly so oh it's jason oh good old times with jason all right i'll leave jason alone but we're gonna be going for his teammates here um let's see let's see holy crap <laughs> what did they build here it's beautiful actually somebody's actually using destructor in never mind i'm not surprised actually oh god oh god come on teammate Come on, teammate. Come on, teammate. We got this. Nice. All right. My, team, my teammate can actually have stuff here because I'm actually pretty, pretty stacked myself. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> First, I got one tapped. Oh, my gosh. But basically, it's making the kit useful in more than one situation. So, okay. That guy's still... All right. We're going to end it here. For example, kits like Archer and Bomber and Berserker. I mean, no, I mean, not Berserker. Kids like Archer, Bomber, and... Okay, this guy's not getting away from me. No. No. No, 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 no. And you... You're dead, sir. All right. Basically, you can't... You can't avoid any of these circumstances when you're Bomber or Archer or... Even Destructor. Destructor's got its weaknesses. Even though it's the achievement kit, there's reasons I wouldn't use it. Over others. Okay, this guy kind of. Never mind. I clearly hit him, but I clearly didn't hit him. Okay, and I shouldn't have leaped over him like that. Oh god, I need to hit. And okay, this guy's gonna be close. He's gonna get the leap right around. All right, he's disrupt. Come on, teammate, you got this. Or not? Oh, stupid. Vince, they actually comboed me. 
Ha, huh, shoot. Stupid fence. All right. They actually really comboed me. Holy crap, that person's dying for that. Oh my gosh. Never mind, you have 200 MS. Why wouldn't you combo me? Or why wouldn't you take KB? Or why would you take KB? More than one question that cannot be answered. All right. For example, this guy's gonna cheat. Oh my gosh. If that red just, just hit him like three times, he would have been dead. Literally. Holy crap. Okay. Literally, if they just hit them three times, that would have been over with. I'm sorry, but who got you? Well, I did, but okay. Oh my gosh. It's just kids like Berserker that will save you or they'll help you get those kills. For example, if I was Appler, Archer, oh, if I was Appler, I probably could have stopped him. If I was Archer, I'd never be able to reach him. But okay, mainly, mainly. Nope, I'm low. Nope, I'm low. Okay. Alright, my teammates are saving me. I don't know why I'm so bad right now. It's when I'm recording. For example, literally the game prior, I was just destroying. And, of course, because I'm recording it, it messes me up somehow. Maybe because I'm trying to commentate. Alright, this guy, come here. He's got a beautiful particle effect, but I gotta end his life here. Oh, he's laggy. Okay. Let's see... And Alexander. So Alexander's right over here. The thing I love about this map is that I actually can do this. Okay, where's my apple? All right, there it is. Okay. All right, hey Steve, 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 Steve. Aw, poor Steve. Poor, poor Steve. If anything, to wrap this video up, it's not the kit that it's not the kids that are severely used that we need to be nerfed, even though they do need to be nerfed. It's making a lot of the kids that are underused better, to where they're actually more usable in these circumstances, and they're probably gonna be more used in different playstyles. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this bridges. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more. This is Nerds telling you to stay awesome, subscribe, of course. Have a nice game.